Hey, what's good, everybody? So this is the two trying youths, and where are we off to? We're off to Florida. Florida. So right now we're in Austin. We live in San Antonio. Rather, we live in San Antonio, but we came up to Austin because our flight leaves from Austin to Fort Lauderdale. So after Fort Lauderdale, then we're going to, by the way guys, it's my birthday week. Yes. Right. What's good, Devin Nothing, it's early, I wanna sleep. You wanna sleep, you didn't sleep last night? No, I'm excited. I didn't, I didn't sleep, sleep either. I'm excited. Me too, I feel, I feel some, I feel, I felt a lot of um, anxiety last night. But um, yeah, so anyway guys, um, we're off to our trip. We're in the airport right now in Austin. <laughs> and see y'all later. As soon as we pulled up to the port, here it was just filled with a lot of people so we could already tell like this is popular it's gonna be popping and we pulled up with our bags the attendants were waiting right at the front to, to take the bags and we had already put the labels on them so all we needed to do was just hand off the bags walk inside get our documents checked and then it was off we go Hey guys, two train youths are here. Yes, yes, yes. We've officially checked in and we're heading on back there to the embarkation. Mm -hmm. Yes, so two train youths are about to be off. Guys, we have so much to tell you and so much to catch up on. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whoever said ignorance is bliss, they it's are not. liars. It's not. It's costly. Guys. But we, we will let you guys know mm -hmm. what, mm -hmm. <laughs> what it almost cost me. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go guys. All right. So as soon as we entered the ship, we had an instruction sheet where we should gather at our muster station and that just means that's the station where you will gather in case of any emergency and we have to abandon ship. So as soon as we arrived at our muster station, there were other persons there as well as well as a crew member and he just gave the safety demonstration where he showed us how to put on the life jacket, where to find the life jackets, and instructions on what to do if we ever hear that it's time to abandon ship. So we weren't quite sure what to do after the safety briefing because I heard that the rooms were not going to be ready at 1 until 1.30, which is usually the case. And so we just used this opportunity to explore the ship. We got to see where the lobby was, where everybody would gather. We got to look at the elevators and just become acclimatized with the new environment that we found ourselves in. Everything looked beautiful, just like it was a, a literal hotel in the sea. It had elevator, spa, gym, cafeteria, um, Everything you could think of that you would need was literally there. And we went downstairs, but before we did that, we just had to reconvene with our paper just to see what we were allowed to do or what we got because this was our very first cruise. So we had no idea what we were in for. And for our cruise, we did not purchase the drink package. We are not heavy drinkers. And so a lot of persons use this time to just get a drink and just chill by the bar, listen to music. But we did not purchase the drink package because it was way too expensive for what we we needed i mean we are not heavy alcohol drinkers and so it wouldn't have been feasible for us to do so so we just sat down listened to music and then we went back to the room 
and lo and behold it was ready but our bags were just not delivered to the room as yet so after we did this we just went ahead to keep walking around the ship and get some food and then it would be time for a sail away party but before that let's go on a room tour Come on in. Welcome to our room, trying youths. It was a nice little room, perfect for what we need. We had a queen size bed. It was very comfortable, well made, with fluffy sheets, fluffy pillows. We had a sofa in there. It looks like it could pull out, but we did not attempt to do so. But it looks like it could. We had two night tables, it was just minimally decorated and we had a great size TV there that was personalized for us with our names on there and we had two bottled waters that were $4 each. <laughs> so if you know, you know to walk with your water bottle. The bathroom was pretty decent as well, it's small and neat, obviously they have to maximize on space because minimize on space so because it is a ship but it had everything you need and it was it served us well quite spacious the linens were provided soaps shampoos conditioners everything was there we had a full-size mirror which we discovered later <laughs> and we just had a grand time in this room we did not get a balcony it was our first cruise we weren't sure how we would be how we would feel if we would get seasick anything like that so we just made do with a nice window because at the very least we wanted to see the ocean we had space for our clothes pretty similar to a hotel it was really really good <laughs> So after we saw our room and we were just so excited about everything, it looked clean, it looked good, we were excited, we dropped the bags, we grabbed our water bottles and we headed out again to tour the ship one more time and get familiar with it. Guys, this ship is huge. There were over 2,000 people on board and there were about 11 decks so it's an incredibly large vessel and we were not able to walk it all the way through but we did get to see the casino it was very lively very similar to that of a las vegas casino it had a lot of different slot machines and everything that one would need to gamble and just have a good time but it is not open until you hit international waters and since we were still docked this wasn't open so it wasn't yet popping but we did take a stroll through there just to see what it had to offer and we were very impressed so we wandered around a little bit to find some place to eat and we ended up finding the Lido deck which is where we would get all our food we stopped to, to take in the beautiful view of the Miami Pier it was just amazing and something definitely to experience in person if you can so yes guys come on on the tour with us as we walk around to see what different restaurants we would want to try once we hit the seas and everything was lively and started why does it feel like that? It feels like we're moving, right? Yep. <laughs> it's Miami, guys. Wow, well, it's kind of feel it's a little bit crazy. weird. It's weird looking yeah. out through the window like this. Okay. So after we had seen all that the ship had to offer, we ran back to the room, got some change of clothes because by this time our bags had arrived, and we headed up to the Lido deck for the sail away party. It was a great time. Sun. <laughs> it's not as hot as the sun sun. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 
Marta Sus. That's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave us a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye!